hey y'all it's your girl lala welcome back to my garden so guys tonight i will be doing a quick planting of some onions and um pepper transplant so these containers i got them from ikea and i have decided to put them into my garden well on my porch usually i come home from work because of the time change it's already night time and every day i keep saying okay i'm gonna do it on the weekend and of course the weekend will come and i don't get to everything these are some tomato seedlings. I had some tomatoes in my kitchen that went bad. And so I threw the seeds over here in these containers. And as you can see, they did germinate. However, they are looking a little bit lanky, but um, the ones that do survive, I will go ahead and transplant them out into the garden or into containers. So guys, here in this container, I have some topsoil and some black home manure and I'm just mixing that up. The top soil is at the bottom and the black cow manure is on top. So I'm just giving that a quick mix. All right, so what I will be doing, I will be getting that into my containers. Okay. So guys, I'm adding some perlite. So so guys, the perlite will help with the roots, okay? I'm going to mix that in. So mixing in the perlite guys. Okay guys, so this right here, this is bone meal to help with the roots and worm casting, okay? And the worm casting, the bone meal, it will help the plants to grow healthy and produce a lot, okay? I don't have any blood meal. I love to use blood meal, but Lowe's did not have any. These are organic fertilizer. And typically that's what I normally do. Blood meal, bone meal. My first time actually using the worm casting because the store did not have the blood meal. Okay. 
and guys i'm not a professional gardener i just grow stuff that i can use in my kitchen and you know share with my families so i just love gardening because i got it from my grandmother she always used to plant and that's where i get the love for gardening so if you use something else in your garden let me know but i normally just stick to these and sometimes i use the tomato garden tone or just the garden tone fertilizer And this is just like I mentioned before, this is just potted mix, not potted mix, topsoil and black corn manure. I don't have any potted mix and I'm feeling that my soil is just a little bit hard to work with. So I hope that the plants will do well in these. I like to mix the garden soil with the potting mix but I don't have any potty mix and guys, it is so expensive. I'm not going to try to spend money on that. I'm just gonna use what I have and you know, trust the Lord to increase whatever I put to grow. And I have some onions just sitting in my kitchen and you know, I don't know guys you comment in the chat when you're a gardener and you have stuff from the garden inside your kitchen it brings in the fruit flies so you have to either you put it in your fridge or you put it somewhere else but you can't really keep it in the kitchen all right so now i'm going to put in my seeds So this is the onion I got at the store. I got it at Lowe's and I got this from December guys, believe it or not. I don't know if they're still good. <laughs> I don't know if they're still good guys. I got these from December at Lowe's. It's a mixture of the red onions, white and yellow onions. So I'm just gonna stick them I'm just gonna stick them into don't know how they're gonna do see if I can keep the and guys if they don't do well I would just get the tops as green scallion for cooking purpose in my kitchen okay I'm not gonna stress it I'm not going to stress it guys so we got some red ones let's go over here I don't even think I have enough space for all of these we will get the tops for kitchen purposes, green scallion purpose wise, to cook in the kitchen. over here in the corner yeah I'm gonna need more container because I have more so in this container guys so this this is what I have left 
I'm not gonna force them into the container. So not to stay for another time. I can't even get in what I need. But here, I have some habanero pepper seedlings growing. And I'm gonna get these out into this container right here. It's been long overdue for me to transplant the habanero pepper seedlings. So, woo. So I'm just gonna put maybe three right there. as well and then I have two I'm gonna stick actually I'm gonna stick one somewhere here I'm gonna put two there and I'm gonna put two over here as well yeah that's what I'm gonna do let's get this worm out the centipede okay So that's it right there guys my habanero pepper my onions and some pepper and we will watch and see how these do okay thank you so much for watching leave a thumbs up